A suspect is in custody tonight after a series of sexual assaults reported on the University of Iowa campus. CBS 2 News reporter Dora Miller has continuing coverage right now live from Iowa City. Dora. Scott, Karen, the survey that polled students on their knowledge of sexual misconduct was released just weeks ago. Now, although this incident was handled fairly quickly, everyone is saying that it's still serving as a learning experience. As a first year student, sexual assaults aren't something you expect to hear about on your campus. Well, this one in particular, that's the route that I walk home from work because I work at the Sheraton. Um, and so that was rather um, nerve wracking for me. On Tuesday, it was on the mind of many students who woke up to the alert of three incidents. I have um, many friends who have experienced sexual assault and I particularly have a very close friend of mine who um, was assaulted several years back and, and the trauma is still um, very harsh for her. I've experienced sexual assault in my past and a lot of female friends that I know have and male friends too because it's not just an exclusively female issue. While sexual assaults often go unreported, this incident took a different turn. The suspect was taken into custody within 24 hours. Overall, I'm pleased with how most people on the campus uh, because it is a more liberal campus and people talk about it more. It's an issue that the university takes seriously. I'm very appreciative though of the people who stepped up and reported the incidents and the bystanders who uh, took the opportunity to intervene and help. Students and faculty say they are grateful for the university's sexual misconduct training and quick action, but there's still work to be done. The biggest thing, though, is that we need to look out for each other. And when we see something happening, we need to do something about it. The suspect's name and his charges have not been released to the public yet. We will continue to follow this story and cover it. As soon as any information is given, we will bring it to you. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Dora Miller, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.